Okay. What if SPL1 is a 60 dB we just demonstrated? Then that is 10 to the 6. And what if another tone SPL is 60 dB? That is again 10 to the 6. Now if I add that one together, then what I have is a 2 times 10 to the 6. If I take a log, to 2 times 10 to the 6, then I have 60 dB plus 10 log 10 2. And you know 10 log 10 2 is about 0 0.3, uh, uh, 3. So what I have is 63 dB. Right? Okay, I, if I calculate again, that is 10 log 10. 10 to the 6 plus 10 to the 6, and that is 10 log 10, 2 times 10 to the 6, that is 10 log 10, 2 plus 10 log 10, log 10, 10 to the 6, okay? So that is only 63 dB. If I have mean square average pressure, that is 90 dB. And the mean square pressure of a second tone is only 50 dB. Then what dB we will have? That is very close to 90 dB. Right? Okay. Okay, he is very brilliant. <laughs> Your question is, your question is, I have, we have, uh, that is one of a T, And what, in fact, we have to do is add two sound right, right? And I said this is the same as this, and the proof you can find in the text. In other words, Mean square average of combined tones is the same as the mean square average of individual tones. That is fantastic. Otherwise, this whole SPL calculation broke down. I will repeat. Mean square average of combined tones is the same as the mean square average of individual tone. Okay? And you can find the proof in the text. So, for example, say I have 100 dB and I have 90 dB, then it would be close to 100 dB. Right? So that means when we have a noise, when we have a noise, then the first target target we have to reduce is the is the noise that has a maximum sound pressure level. Of course, that that uh, corresponds to our common sense. But noise has to do with the human being. Or uh, sometimes noise has to do with our dog or cat, of course. But if noise has to do with our uh, human being, then we have to consider our auditory system too. Right? So for example, reducing noise 200 hertz, 
say I reduced the noise 20 decibel at 200 hertz and I did not reduce the noise at 1 kilohertz at all it doesn't it, it doesn't work effectively for example when, when I give you like a $100 you have to use the force to, to buy something that is on 1 kilohertz or 2 kilohertz or 4 kilohertz because those area those frequencies are the very sensitive auditory very sensitive sensitive frequency for our auditory system so we have to consider those effects that we call waiting so we have various waiting a waiting b waiting and c waiting and so on and next lecture we will discuss how to consider those weightings to calculate our SPL again okay summary what you have in this lecture oh frequency is very important our auditory system is sensitive to our frequency to the frequency and my ear is okay according to the rough experiment we had okay and SPL is not linear scale so we have to be very careful to add several sounds the 60 decibel plus 60 decibel is not 120 decibel is only 63 decibel okay that sort of thing and I uh, ask you to read the text very carefully okay and you will see interesting homework again uh, that will make you very happy enjoyable your weekend okay uh, on our home page uh, this evening okay. okay see you next time and thank you very much those those guys who prepared this demonstration okay